Hi everyone and welcome to your hip opening flow. Um, this is going to be a super nice one for the lower body and we're actually going to get started in a kneeling position near the back of our mats. Um, before we do get started, if you want to grab hold of any props that you might regularly use, um, so a cushion, bolster, anything that you've got, blocks that might be helpful, feel free to grab them now and then we will get started. So. Coming towards the back of our mats, or wherever you're practicing, if you're not even practicing on a mat, and just starting by taking the knees a little wider than you'd normally have them. So we're sitting down kind of on the heels of our feet, and just taking the hands down towards the thighs or the knees, um, taking that gaze forwards. So we're looking forwards, just going tall from the crowns of our heads, and closing down through the eyes. So as we arrive here, just starting to find the breath. So we're not trying to change that breath at the start of practice. Uh, we're just being aware of what the breath feels like. So it might be that you've just been really busy. You've just turned up on the mat. Maybe the heart rate's going a little fast. It might be that you're already super relaxed, super chilled down and the breath is quite slow. So just noticing where it is, knowing that there's no right or wrong. It's your breath in this moment of practice. And noticing that sensation of the hands, palms down on the legs. So we're grounding down. Just finding that connection to the earth. And really allowing the body to settle. So also just being aware of how the body feels. We're going to be practicing with this idea of ahimsa, so this idea of kindness throughout our practice, so being kind to the body. And just seeing if at the start here, if we can send that breath all the way down into the hip space. So it might be that you take the hands just to the hips, maybe fingertips just on the inside of the thighs, and just notice how the hips, how the groin is feeling. Maybe even you take a little movement from side to side, just swaying, just getting a feel for how open those hips are today. So taking some movement. And then when we're ready, just slowly opening open the, yeah, can I talk today? Slowly opening the eyes and then coming down into a wide leg child's pose. So just taking those hands down onto the mat. Maybe you take the knees a little wider from here and walking the hands forwards. And reaching those arms out long, taking forehead down towards the mat. And just feeling that opening. So not only now through the hips, but also through the shoulders, through the chest. And again, it might be nice here to just have a small sway from side to side. So just noticing that breath moving through the body. Noticing that movement. And again, just seeing if we can send that breath down towards the hips. And it might be that a wide leg child's pose feels super open at the start of practice. So if at any point you feel the need to take those knees together, come into a narrow leg, feel free to. If having the arms out super long, reaching feels really, really rough at the start of practice, just drawing those hands back towards you. So finding a little bit more space for the shoulders. So really just finding the spot that works for you. And whilst we're here, just taking a few releasing breaths, so breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, really just sighing out, just taking two more, so inhaling, and exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling. From here, just staying with that breath, gently peeling up through the head and taking those hands forwards, taking the weight into the hands, lifting up and just taking those knees back to hip distance. And from here, walking those hands forward, tucking under the toes and just coming into a downward facing dog. So it's the first one of the practice, potentially first one of the day. So making it as stretchy as you need. So pedaling out through the feet, taking movement through the shoulders, through the hands, anything that feels intuitive here. 
So allowing your body to move in a way that feels good for you. Just any movement that's good. And then ever so slowly when we're ready, just starting to walk those toes, those feet in towards the hands. Take a nice big bend through the knees. And when you get to here, just taking that weight back into the feet, releasing the hands. Taking the feet a little bit wider than hip distance. And we're going to drop down into Malasana. So coming down. And it might be, there are so many variations of Malasana. It might be that you stay up on the toes. And that feels juicier for you. It might be that you're down on the heels. Maybe you've got the hands down for support. Maybe you've got the hands together, heart center and jelly mudra. So again, taking as much movement as feels good here. Maybe just stillness works. You can also take a block if you've got one, if you want that support underneath. So you can just pause here and take a little bit more of a restful position. But again, just sending that breath down towards the hips, down towards the groin. And really just making a decision here on whether we're focusing on that stillness or whether we're allowing that breath to bring us a little bit more fluidity, whichever feels good for you. And just a few more breaths here. And then when you're ready, taking those hands down and lifting up taking those feet back to hip distance, removing any props that you might have, taking a nice bend through the knees and just taking a second in Uttanasana, our forward fold before our next inhale and as we inhale just rising up, sweeping hands up towards the sky, exhale bringing hands down through heart center and Jali Mudra. We're just going to come through a sun salutation to start to get the body a little bit more warmed up. As we inhale, sweep those arms up as we exhale, forward folding, cascading down, nice bend through the knees, back into our Uttanasana. As we inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, so lifting up halfway, nice straight backs, gaze forwards. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping those arms up again. Exhale, those hands coming down through heart center. So this time again, on the inhale, sweeping those arms up. Exhale, coming into that soft forward fold. Inhale, lifting up halfway. As we exhale, placing those hands down, stepping or jumping the feet back. So we're coming towards that high plank, dropping the knees, untucking toes, lowering down through the chest. As we inhale, just finding a baby cobra. So we're lifting up through that chest. As we exhale, tucking under the toes, rolling back, coming back to that downward facing dog. And again, taking a nice pedal out through the feet. Next inhale that we find, just sweeping that right foot up towards the sky and taking a nice bend through the knee and seeing if we can open up through the hip here. So we wanna keep the shoulders exactly where they are if we can, keeping the shoulders steady and just opening up through the hip. Just taking an extra breath, inhale here. As we exhale, stepping this right foot forwards, Dropping the back knee down, we're gonna come into a low lunge as we inhale, just lifting up. And we wanna be lifting up through the core so we're not collapsing. So we've got the crown of the head reaching up, gaze forwards. As we inhale, find that lift. As we exhale, see if we can allow ourselves to come a little bit deeper into that low lunge. We wanna keep everything engaged. So it might be that you rest the hands on the front knee. It might be that you've got fingertips down Wherever you are, just pausing for a second, staying with that breath. Taking just one more breath here. Next exhale that we find, just taking that left hand down next to the right foot. And as we inhale, sweeping that right arm up. So we're just coming into a super easy twist here, taking that gaze up towards the right hand opening out through the chest as well. Taking one more inhale. As we exhale, just sweeping that hand behind us and then taking that right hand down to the outside of the right foot, tucking under left toes, stepping that right foot back. So we're in that high plank again and we're gonna come through a vinyasa. So either taking knees and chest like we just did or coming through your chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra as before, or an upward facing dog. So just opening through that chest. One extra inhale here. 
Exhale, tuck under the toes, roll it back, downward facing dog. Taking again a nice pedal out through the feet. Just taking any movement. And then just coming to the other side. So grounding through that right foot as we inhale, left leg reaches up behind us. Again, it's trying to keep the shoulders where they are, taking a nice bend through that left knee. And just seeing if we can rotate that left knee out. So we're just opening through that hip, just that tiny bit more. Inhale here. Exhale, stepping that left foot forwards this time. Dropping the right knee, untucking right toes. Inhale, just lifting, sweeping those arms up. As we exhale, taking palms together and just allowing ourselves to drop a little bit deeper into that lunge, keeping that core engaged, keeping that drishti, that gaze forwards towards the front of the room, front of the mat. Inhaling here and exhaling. And this time taking that right hand down. And as we inhale, just peeling that left arm up towards the sky. Finding that easy twist, taking that gaze drishti towards that left hand. Breathing here. Taking one more inhale. As we exhale, just sweeping that hand behind us, allowing it to fall at the front of the mat. So we're framing that foot, tucking under the right toes, stepping left foot back. We're in that high plank again, coming through your vinyasa, knees and chest, or your chaturanga on the exhale. As we inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tucking under those toes, drawing back, downward facing dog. So from this downward facing dog, we're gonna come into the same sequence as before. So as we inhale, that right leg sweeps up again, taking a bend through the knee, opening up through the hip, trying to keep those shoulders where they are. Take a big inhale here. As we exhale, just taking the right knee towards the right wrist dropping the right knee down, so we're coming into pigeon, untucking that back leg, and seeing where it feels most comfy for you here. So with pigeon, it's quite often really helpful to take a block or a pillow or a cushion underneath that right hip, just to give you that little bit more lift. It might be that you feel completely comfortable without it. So just taking a moment to, to see where it feels comfortable to you. And we're gonna come down and fold over basically the center of our bodies. Now option here is to come down over that right knee. If this feels really heavy for you, really tight, you might decide to walk those hands over towards the left and fold forwards over here so you've got a little bit more space. So it's your choice, whichever feels better for you. So really allowing yourself here to find that support and just notice that sensation through the right glutes, through the right thigh, just noticing how it feels. It's all we ask here to just notice those sensations running through the body. Staying with that breath. So just a few more breaths here. Just one more inhale. Exhale ever so slowly, peeling that head up, lifting up. Taking those hands back in front of you, tucking under the left toes. As we inhale, you might see if you can sweep back up to that three-legged dog here. You might have to shimmy your hands backwards a little bit. So just coming back to that three-legged dog and then releasing that right leg down, taking any wiggles that you might need and then finding the other side. So as we inhale, left leg sweeps up towards the sky Again, finding that bend through the knee, seeing if we can find that rotation open through the hip. Taking an inhale here. As we exhale, left knee coming towards the left wrist, releasing those back toes and finding that pigeon. 
So I suggest taking an inhale whilst you're still up. And then as you exhale, slowly walking those hands forwards, coming down. And again, option to fold the body more towards the right. And you can take a pillow or a cushion or a block underneath the head. Anything that gives you that little bit of extra support here. And then we arrive, just closing down through the eyes. Noticing sensation this time through the left glutes, through the left quads. Just being aware of how this feels for the body. A few more breaths here. Taking your next inhale. Exhale slowly, starting to rise up. Taking those hands back to where they were, tucking under those right toes and seeing if we can just sweep back up to that three-legged dog. So just taking that left leg back in towards the sky and then gently releasing down back to that downward facing dog, taking a pedal through the feet. And we're going to again walk those feet back towards the hands, taking the feet a little bit wider than hip distance and we're going to drop down again into that Malasana Swa Yogic squat. So again, taking any blocks, props that you might need, taking this as a still posture, just pausing. If you've got the hands at heart center, maybe using those elbows against the knees to just open up through the chest that little bit more. Maybe you've got that block for support. Just staying with that breath and then noticing here how the hip, how the groin feels. Does it feel any different to how it did when we took Malasana at the start of practice? So just being aware. An option here to just pause for a second or if you wish to take that left hand down towards the left force, maybe it's just the left fingertips. Inhale and just sweep, open that right arm. So just peeling open, open getting a bit of movement through the chest. you're in this variation, open heart, just taking that right hand back down, taking right fingertips to the floor as we inhale, peeling that left arm up. So showing that upper body some love as well. Inhale here if you've got the arms open, exhale, just taking them back, taking fingertips down to the floor, lifting up slightly, we're just going to move the feet back to hip distance and take the hands behind us, just coming down, finding a seat and taking the left leg out long. We're going to take the right knee out to the side. We want to take the sole of the right foot to the inside of that left thigh and then just drop open the right knee. So we're coming into a Janushasana. Again, if you've got a block or a pillow, you can take that underneath the right knee to get some support here. Now we're flexing through that left foot, everything's active here. Inhale, just sweeping those arms up towards the sky. As we exhale, folding forwards, keeping that back nice and straight. And then taking those hands down to either side of the foot. So we're just keeping a nice straight back with this idea of moving forwards, not down. So rather than collapsing and rounding through that back, just keeping that left foot active, staying up on those fingertips. And it might be that you take a really nice releasing breath here as well. So inhaling through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. And again, we're working with that idea of kindness. So if you feel, if this feels uncomfortable at any time, just moving those hands back towards you, lifting up a little higher, but only going as far as feels comfortable for you. 
Taking one more inhale here. Exhale, lifting up. And then just switching over side, so taking the right leg out long this time. Left knee comes in towards the chest. We're gonna take the left sole of the foot in towards that right thigh. Again, you might switch the block over if you're using one or that cushion. Really flexing through that right foot, finding some length through the torso. Inhale, reaching up. As we exhale, folding forwards, keeping that back nice and straight and then taking those hands down for some support. So just noticing how that feels through the right leg, through the hamstrings, getting a nice stretch out. Taking just one more inhale here. Exhale, gently lifting up. And taking both legs out long. And just taking a nice shake through the feet, through the legs, through the toes. And we're gonna to move towards our Shavasana, so our period of rest near the end of the practice. So you've got two options here. We've done a lot of opening through the hips. So our variations today are to either take the feet together, knees out to the side, and then come down, finding the mat, and just releasing here. So just noticing how this feels to start off with. So you might come here for starters. So we're really opening through that hip. You might choose to rest the hands on the belly or maybe on the thighs. If this still feels really open for you at the end of this practice, your option is to kind of take the opposite. So to take the feet a little bit wider than hip distance and then drop the knees together. So coming into restorative rest. So just coming to whichever feels most comfortable. And as you arrive here, really just resettling the body. So picking up the shoulders, placing them back down. Maybe you pick up the hips and place them back down. Play with the placement of the hands. So we really wanna find somewhere where we're super comfortable. If you've got a blanket and you want to pop it over you, feel free to, maybe you've got an eye pillow. Anything that makes you that little bit more comfortable. And then again, as we pause here, if you haven't already, just shutting down through the eyes. Focusing on that breath. And this breath, this prana, this energy is moving around the body. As we breathe. It's moving around, finding the outermost edges fingertips, toes. So just noticing that breath as we inhale and exhale. And every time we breathe in here, we have this energy moving around us. As we exhale, we're releasing, letting go just that tiny bit more. So just seeing if you can allow the body to sink down towards the mat. Just releasing any tension. And being aware that these moments of stillness can be difficult. We live in a world where we tend to lead, lead very busy lives. So as soon as we take that moment to pause, that moment to rest, it's quite often for the mind to become busy with anything that might be coming up. So just knowing that that's completely normal, staying with that breath. And just being aware
option as ever. This is the wonderful thing about practicing on YouTube. If you feel like you need more time here, feel free to take a longer pause, a longer moment of rest. If you're ready to finish up with practice, the next breath that moves through the body, just allowing it to bring in some gentle movement. So wiggling through fingertips, wiggling through toes, and then ever so gently, if you've got the knees open, just using those hands, to draw the knees back together and bring them in towards the chest, wrapping arms around the knees and just taking a gentle rock from side to side. Noticing the feeling of the spine just connecting down towards the earth. And then when you're ready, gently keeping those eyes closed, just seeing if you can either roll up towards seated or just using those hands to help you. Just coming to a comfortable seated position and taking those hands down onto the knees, palms facing up. So this sign of surrender, just letting go as we finish. And taking a moment of gratitude here just to say thank you to yourselves for finding the time to practice. And we thank the amazing lineage of teachers that have come before us. Taking one more inhale here. Exhale, release. And then gently fluttering open those eyes, just taking a soft gaze down in front. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me. Um, I hope this is a class you can come back to. Um, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel. There are going to be new classes every week. Um, and I hope you have a lovely rest of the day.